Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream. We do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're gonna be playing more of our Final Fantasy X to New Year event run. We are still on chapter five. There, there are several, hi Oreo, <laughs> hi Oreo in the background there. <laughs> There's uh the tip, chapter five takes a long time. Okay, chapter five takes a long time. <laughs> he did. He totally stole the show. He was like, oh no, she's starting. I have to get out of here. Literally, like once he hopped down, he like zooms. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we are in quite like a um we are in chapter five. There's like lots of long grinds, you know. So we are just gonna start like jumping into the game. Like, I don't know. Like I'm really going back and forth about um Oh, my LaCroix is hard to open today. If uh, if the personality quiz is like, if we've done it enough, you know, like I'm thinking maybe, because I never want to like be too samey all the time. Like I always want to be refreshing stuff. So I think that that segment, that segment might be done. But anyways, we're going to get into the game. How are you today, by the way, Koneko? Koneko with the first today. Koneko with the first. Hello. Hello. All right. So here's where we are. We, um, we got to the level 60 and did the level 60 boss last time. Um, what we are going to do this time is, um, well, first we're going to go check, first we're going to go check on our chocobos in the calm lands and see if we got either of those garment grids. So let's go over to calm lands and check that out. I'm doing well currently on vacation, just kind of vibing in the vacation home. Nice. Nice. How is it? How's the weather there? <clears throat> Alright, let's save before we talk to Clasco. In case any of them run away without giving us a prize. Okay, back safe and sound. Back safe and sound. Sound. Back safe and sound. <gasps> oh my god! We got it! Holy shit! And they didn't even run away! They didn't even run away, we just got it! So the running away thing that is posted online, that they have to like run away to get this garment grid, it's not, it's not a consolation prize. It's not a consolation prize for them running away. You can just get it by sending them with less than 95 hearts out to the calm lands over and over and over again. Holy shit, y'all, we got it! Holy shit! <laughs> um, thank Koneko. I this is your good luck. Your good luck first. That's what got me that garment grid. Okay, that's what got it for me. Thank you so much. All right. Um, let's feed. Let's feed the chocobos. They're they're all at 55 now. Um, we want their hearts like for the other one mounted assault garment grid. All the guides say they need to be less than 30 hearts, and you go out to Kilika. So we're not gonna like raise their hearts at all. We're gonna keep them very very low. So let's dispatch. Um, let's dispatch everybody to Kilika. There we go. I have it recorded. You do not. The chocobos don't need to run away. Any everybody that's saying it's a consolation prize for them running away, it's not true. That's not true. Because no one ran away. We reset every time someone ran away. So as far as this save goes, I have never had a chocobo run away right? That's never happened because we've reset every time. Holy shit, I can't believe I got one of them. I can't believe I got one of them. Wait, we gotta look at, we gotta look at it. Okay, it's called Strength of One. Super rare garment grid. It's just, it's just strength. It's just strength plus 10. That's what it is. It's, it matches the Seething Cauldron Magic plus 10 one. And uh, stone hewn defense plus ten, so it's the and, and enigma plate. Okay, so it's the strength version of these guys. Holy crap! I can't believe it. We did it. We did that shit. We did that shit together, you guys. Okay. <laughs> the weather is great today. Sunny, kind of chilly, but not cold. Perfect weather for a walk. So I went to a nearby town where we'd gone to get groceries yesterday and took a walk in the nature park there. We wanted to go to a sort of festival in a different part of the nature park. We misread the location, didn't figure it out until we were already tired. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a vacation mood doing something like that, you know what I'm saying? All right, so what we are going to do next is actually finish out Jose, but to finish out jo the Jose Temple, we have to go into Beaconel Desert. So we're going to go into Beaconel Desert. Because we need to find the special items by digging um, to raise up that particular uh, Machina that's in there. So he's got all three 
of the things at level five. So the way that we do that is by digging. Now I strongly recommend that you do this in the, um, in the central expanse. So let me show you why. Now we unlocked this, remember, by sending a chocobo out to Beaconel and um, it does actually run away. So the ones that you have to get to run away, like this one and the Meehan one, they did run away. But anyway, you send it out to Beaconel, it runs away, it unlocks this choco digging. When you choco dig, you do not have to do any battles and watch, he walks way faster. Like it's a chocobo, right? So he's fast. So this is what we're doing. Um, and I highly recommend that you do it this way um, to complete it as quickly as possible because it is quite a little grind. You can see like the yellow X isn't even here yet. And sometimes it takes it a minute for the yellow X to pop up. Let's run around a little bit more, try to find the yellow X before the other guy does. Come on, yellow X. Ah, there it is, there it is. Okay, so this is what you want. And you're gonna get these these assemblies. So we got a special, special assembly S. They can be um, rank A or Z, A or S. And I think that's the order that they go in as far as the amount of points that they give you. And it's special defense and attack. So you need to get enough of all of these where all three, special defense and attack, all raise up to level five. So to do this, you need to go on between 50 and 60 digs, okay? So you can see why doing the central one with the chocobo is so much more efficient and so much better. So you'll find online people saying they complete this in about an hour or two when they do it. I am convinced the people posting this all must have done it this way, the way that I'm doing it, because it is impossible to complete this within an hour or two if you're not doing the chocobo one, because it just takes too long. And then the other thing that I'm convinced people are doing is they're just going and getting the yellow as fast as possible and then running back to the hover. So they are not like actually going and getting all the white X's. That's what I think they are doing. Because if you do it this way, based on my testing, it does take about an hour or two. But if you're doing it some other way, um, <clears throat> by going to some of the other areas where it's Yuna running around instead of a chocobo, it definitely takes over two hours. And I don't know how you could do it any faster from those. So recommendation is to unlock this, which I did way earlier in my playthrough. Um, and then, uh, and then do it this way on the chocobo. Now, sometimes when you, ah, okay. So anyways, you do want to get some of the white X's, um, because you want that desert key <laughs> to unlock an extra treasure here in Beaconel. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten this, this so quickly. Uh, thank you so much, Koneko, for all the good luck. Um, Loki Koneko is, uh, is actually Lucky Koneko. Super lucky, super lucky Koneko. Um, <laughs> because we got it. So I'll show you what the key gives us. Holy crap. I thought that would be like halfway through. Not on dig number three, <laughs> or dig number four. Okay, anyways, now that we've got that, we can actually open this treasure chest. And we get the Horn of Plenty Garment Grid. So that is this garment grid. Let's find it in here so I can show you what it does. Yeah, Horn of Plenty. You can use Nab Gil, and if you go through the red gate, you can get Gillionaire. So it's another way to have Gillionaire as opposed to Lady Luck. Um, but you have to go through a gate to do it. It's not just equipping. So anyway, <laughs> anyway. Uh, we got that already, so there's literally no other reason to do the white ones. Um, the only other thing that's kind of useful that, sh that we we're going to get from some of the white X's is um, our bed primers. So we will pick up some white X's whenever it's taking a while for the yellow one to spawn because it doesn't spawn immediately. But we're not gonna, we're not really going to to get too many of them. Like once we get the yellow X, now we can just run back to the hover because there's there's literally no reason there's literally no reason but also but doing these digs will fill out your albed garment grid i mean not garment grid um albed primers <clears throat> so yeah basically just rinse and repeat 50 plus times i i've not seen it take more than 60 
when I've practiced, so that's why I say between 50 and 60. Um, 50 is pretty much the minimum. Like, I don't think you can really have it take less than 50 um, because you're not going to get all the best uh, assemblies immediately. Like, you're going to get some lower ranking ones mixed in there and stuff like that. But you see, you get other random items too. And I don't think that the yellow one... I think if you just stand there and don't dig up the white X's, the yellow one does not spawn as fast when it's not immediately on the map, I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that because, like, I, I'm not going to just stand there. That's boring. <laughs> like, I'm going to go around and dig up what I can um, until the yellow one spawns. And I want to try to be careful. Oh, there it is. To not walk out too far because then the little guy will come and be like, oh, you went too far, and it wastes a few seconds when he does that. Okay, run, 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 run. We can make it, we can make it, we can make it. We can make it, we can make it. Yes, we made it. Um, if you have failed digs, of course, you know, you're gonna have some, by the time you do 50, you're not gonna have 50 perfect digs. So you will end up having some in there that fail. I didn't mean to talk to you, Ben, so sorry. Also, some digs, will not have an assembly in the yellow X. If it's not an assembly, then it comes up as scrap metal. So that is useless. So if you get that, that dig, it, it'll say it's a successful dig, but like it's been wasted. And you get lots of um, spear break points too, doing this. And there was one of the, there's not bad primer. There was one of the um, spear break garment grids that we didn't end up getting. And I think we can we can go back and uh, rematch Shinra in this chapter to try to get it. I think that's what we would do. Rematch Shinra. Man, he almost stole that ship from me. He almost stole it. Rude. Yeah, and I think the rankings goes Z Z A S as far as the number of points. And it's like 1.2.3 or something. And there's like a total number of points you have to get in each of the three categories to get them to level five. Oh yeah. Oh, there's the yellow. Paneko, I'm so jealous of your trip. I want to be there. It sounds like really so nice. So probably what we'll do is we'll just grind up to 50 digs and then we'll go check and see where we are in regards to the levels for the, the machine. And because like this guy like talks in Albed, oh there it is. Because this guy talks in Albed a little bit as you're going along, you can kind of see like the letters fill in as you find more Albed primers too. Um, so you'll kind of see him, see it, uh, be able to see his whole phrases uh, by the time you're done. Or at least that's how it's normally happened to me. Well, then we'll see because we found the key so early, so I won't be opening as many white X's. Because <laughs> like. Who cares about primers? Like, whatever, you know? If I don't find all the primers this playthrough, it's not a big deal. Because there's a whole other chance next playthrough. We can just do more digs. Oh, yellow immediately. So probably around 50 digs will end up having two of the levels all the way at five, two of the categories all the way at five, and one of the categories at um, four, probably where we'll be. I can't believe we got the strength of one garment grid so fast. I 
feel the urge to go onto the all those game facts forums talking about these garment grids and um and post what actually happened to me because i have proof you do not need them to run away you just need to send them out with less hearts over and over yeah you can't take the yellow you can't have it but I'm pretty sure I have to find them, because then it will be a successful dig, and then it like counts. Because I don't think that if if the if our Albed friend there that's with us finds the yellow X, I think it doesn't count. Because it, then it's a failed dig, and you don't get the credit for it. So the guy doesn't level up. I would catch a grenade. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh my god, go to the hover. There we go. Sometimes it does not register. You run up to the hover and it just doesn't it doesn't want to register at first. I don't understand why. yellow. Something I think is kind of funny is that our, our friend that's with us, like, he can dig in the wrong spot and he'll be like, that's strange. Like, he just did it. That's strange right there. Um, but we cannot, like, I'm pretty sure, like, we cannot dig in the wrong spot. It's not possible. And I just ran by here and the yellow X was not I'll just start spamming the A button whenever we get close to the hover. Since sometimes it does not come up. There it is. That's what you get whenever it's, like, pointless. You get scrap metal. I know what we need for this. found it. The perfect playlist. Oh, we ranked up Beachcomber. Okay. Alright, Spotify is here to regale us with some diggy diggy hole songs. watching the VOD on YouTube and you would like to hear the music when we stream, then come hang out with us on Twitch. 
That is a live only thing. Oh, another primer, nice. I do not record the music. I don't want to get DMCA'd. <laughs> I don't want to get DMCA'd, and YouTube's DMCA is so much stricter than uh, than Twitch's. I mean, Twitch will still like ding you sometimes, but you won't get like a strike or anything for it. They'll just mute your audio, and um, and I never like submit it for review or something like that. I just let it be. Oh my god. I didn't I didn't really pre-look at what was on the playlist. I just saw the title and was like, yes. This is the Sims 3 excavation song. Oh my god. I coming back, don't worry. I coming back. It's okay, pick it. I heard there was a Baldur's Gate 3 patch the other day that broke everyone's game in like a myriad of ways. Like it was a massive like bug fix patch and they ended up introducing some even worse or more terrible bugs. Um, if, you're, uh, if your game was subject to that, I am so sorry that happened to you. So sorry that happened. Because I was thinking like of trying to pick it back up again because I had started playing that game. Ah, he found it, bitch. He found the yellow one. That's what he says when he finds it. Yes, we're giving up. There's no point. No point. He found the yellow one. So anyway, I was thinking of picking it back up again, but now I'm definitely waiting until they fix that. Before I do. As far as counting to 50, you want to look at your successful digs. So you want to get between 50 and 60 successful digs. The unsuccessful digs do not count. So that's the number you want to keep looking at.
Come on. There it is. I gotta say, I was like, there's no way it hadn't spawned yet. And I was already digging there. See, he said bingo, but I had already got it. He was like on his way. Stop pushing me. <sighs> Push my chocobo with your chocobo. I guess I should have just dug up these three. They just ran around, could not find a yellow one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you thought. You thought, but I got it. Oh god, can we make it? But it's scrap metal. Beast. <gasps> this is the song. Yes. Oh my god, where is it? There it is. That was far down there. That's almost the edge.
Oh, I thought that was the yellow one up in the corner for a second. It tricked me by being in the corner. Oh, Albed Primer. I wonder if that's the one for the letter T. Because we're obviously missing that one. Nope. <laughs> it's not. Mine treasure. Ah, oh. <laughs> scrap metal. Is it clean? You want to help me diggy diggy hole? Oh, there's one, there's one. What is this? Blippy. The blippy. Looks like a kid's thing. I don't know this one. Okay, we're halfway now. Yeah. This is gonna be a failed one. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we don't got this. Yeah. Yeah.
failed dig. Oh, nice. Popped up right next to me. Come here. All right. Oh, lucky again. I like it when the yellow ones pop up right next to me. <laughs> it's Dig Dug's song. There it is. Got to say, like, it was feeling like our luck's kind of running out with the uh, yellow X is not popping up so quickly. Big is over. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme.
on, yellow X. Oh, there it is. Thank you. yellow X. Oh, there it is. The gill dig ups are nice too. We definitely still need more gill. That's another grind we gotta do is getting enough gill for the, um, not open air, but the other one. Argent. For the Argent Garment Grid. Alright, 40. We're at the 40. Okay, I wonder how many... I wonder how many we have for the outbed primers. I'm missing... 6... Thirteen. Twenty. Yeah. This would be twenty-four. We're only missing one, two, three, four primers. That's not bad. I stopped doing the white X's so quickly, we might actually not get all the primers. Normally when I do this, I end up getting all the primers at the same time. They're finishing getting all the primers at the same time. something very hilarious going on right now what is it i want to hear the hilarious story tell me tell me town that's on a border between two countries. Currently have YouTube open in another tab. YouTube has different non-targeted recommendation videos based on the country it thinks you're in. Oh, oh okay. Um, right now it keeps swapping between country one and country two. What the heck? I don't think I've ever opened YouTube while in another country, so I had no idea it did that. Um, that is crazy. 
<laughs> I didn't know. But I guess that kind of makes sense because there's different rules in different countries for like what content can be shown. Like I know I've had that happen before. Like I've had my videos flagged as like can't be shown in certain countries. Um, I want to say what's happened to me before is like Russia. Like I've had videos before that the auto thing like flagged it as not viewable in Russia. And like I didn't contest it or anything like that. So I don't know if it's like legitimate or not, or if the robot was just confused, but I've definitely had that happen. Um, both to my roleplay videos, um, back when I was making those, and I've had it happen to like my Sims 2 playthrough videos. They've gotten blocked in Russia before, um, which is very funny. For the past hour, it's swapped countries at least three times. Oh my God. It has no idea where you are, Koneko. Oh no, he got the yellow. Oh, it was up there and I was too slow. Dang it, okay. We're gonna return, yes. Is it, do, does it do that, Koneko, even if you're logged into your, like, account where you've actually watched videos? I feel like it's doing that regardless of what it knows about you. The you is a different you when you cross country borders. <laughs> so says YouTube. Yeah, it does it while logged in too, but it isn't as notable unless I click on the new to you um, tab because that's where non-targeted Rex might still show up. Oh, in one of, in one I get videos where German speaking craft channels and the other I do not. Oh my God, that's so funny. You know what's also kind of been funny about the YouTube algorithm lately? I feel like the past several months, it's been like different and weird. Like I didn't used to get um, recommendations of videos that were like not really targeted to me on my, my, like just my regular front page, like not even clicking new to you, right? Like, and there'll be videos with like 10 views or like something tiny like that, which like on one hand, I think that's really cool that the algorithm is trying to promote smaller creators, but it will be like smaller creators in genres that I have zero interest in that I never watch, you know? Like, I love to see smaller creators doing like um, nail videos or like um, uh, makeup tutorials or like political and news videos. I watch a lot of those, but like it'll recommend me stuff that I don't watch, you know? Um, it's very strange. Like, like, I'm trying to think of a good example that's kind of recent. Um, like, it'll recommend to me, like, comedy, like, YouTube poop style videos, even though, like, I really haven't watched that type of content in years. And the content of that that I do watch, I more prefer to see it on TikTok because it tends to be shorter, you know, not so long. Um, you know, it, but it, it, I don't know why it doesn't recommend to me more, like, those lower view count videos in genres I actually watch, like the ones I just listed, or like Let's Plays. Like Let's Plays would be great. I do watch those, um, but it it does it in like categories that I don't I don't really have any interest in, and I've never really expressed any interest in. So I don't know, like what's 
what's wrong with the algorithm, but I do feel like the past several months, the YouTube algorithm is different than it used to be. It's not as like tight, you know, it's not as like on point as it used to be. Like whatever the newest iteration of it is, I'm not a big fan. I, I wish it would keep those things in the new to you page where you're right, like that's more likely, you know, to have that type of content recommended. Um, if it was only in the new to you, then I would not think it was strange. Like, of course, in the new to you, they might try to push a genre that they think I might like, but I've never really expressed interest in just to see if I'm interested in that genre. But why push new genres that I've never really watched on my regular page? It doesn't really make sense to me. The algorithm's a bit busted at the minute. If you reload the page enough times, it'll start recommending things outside your area of interest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've noticed it too. It's related to the new to you feature. Sometimes it forgets it's on a separate tab and puts new to you things on the main red page. I, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I feel like is happening. Um, and I don't find it uh, helpful. <laughs> I find it very annoying, you know? Like I want to click on new to you myself, not have it like recommend to me because then it's just wasting my time with what it's showing me. And it makes me not want to browse so much anymore. It makes me want to go back to just looking at my subscription page and just watching from there um, and not even using the front page at all. It's annoying. I just tell YouTube I'm not interested in that particular channel and it stops doing it, yeah. That's pretty much what I do too. If it actually puts something up there that I am offended by, which has happened, it's put up some stuff that's like clearly, um, you know, right wing, clearly manosphere type of stuff that I'm just like, absolutely fuck not. And I'll block, I'll block that. I'll be like, not interested. Um, or if it recommends the same channel over and over that I already know I don't like, then I'll be like, not interested, you know, or like, like that. Okay. We're at 50 digs now, you guys. We're at 50 digs. Okay. Let's go find out if we're done digging. Um, let's go check. What do I have equipped right now? Two Dark Knights. Okay. And an Alchemist. Yes, yes. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> All right. We're probably not at 555, but we're at 50, we got 50 successful digs. So we should be relatively close. So let's go take a look. So to go check, you have to run into the temple. And you gotta go all the way up. Recommendations on individual videos are, videos are better than main page recs anyway. Yeah, but even if it does silly things sometimes like putting LPS customs um, on a Let's Play video because I watched History of Polly Pocket video earlier. What? I don't even know what it was thinking. Yeah, those two things don't make any sense. <laughs> what? What the heck? Okay, let's go see. So to figure out what levels he's at now. Oh shit. Well anyways, if he's all at level fives, this animation will happen and you don't even have to ask the man. Oh, the horror. <laughs> we, we, we got cocky and souped up our machine too much. Now it's out of control. Oh shit. Okay. Well, anyways, we only had to do 50 digs. We got very, very lucky. <laughs> yeah, pain speaks all bad. We are deeply repentant. Okay, so you can see attack 5, defense 5, special 5. You can go in and take on the experiment or you can walk away and, uh, and get ready. I think still think vintage toy genre is triggered on, but it's still funny. Yeah, that's triggered on on mine too. And every once in a while, I will watch it. But it's really interesting how often it recommends it to me. It recommends it to me way more often than I actually watch that stuff, which is pretty rarely. And the only reason I even realized that it was a thing was because I saw, because um, Jenny Nicholson, who I watch for other reasons, also like does restoration on My Little Pony toys. So like that's how I found out it existed. It's so, like I understand why the algorithm is doing it. Like I actually did watch some of it, but it's more often than I would think. Okay, there we go. It's 555. Five, five. We're going to take on the experiment, you guys. Let's go. Boy, you don't know me. 
Yeah, whose side are you on? You don't know me? I got the dream team. See that? Two Dark Knights and an Alchemist. Dream fucking team. Oh my god, they killed her. There's enough pain to go around. The only vintage toy channel I watch regularly is Retro Geek Crafts. The other channels I only watch occasionally, yeah. Some of it's kind of cool, though. Oh my god, stop killing Riku! I need her to heal! Okay, we are gonna There's die. Pain to go around. We are gonna die, holy shit. Oh. Just kidding, we're not gonna die. We're fine, actually. It's all good. <laughs> Just kidding. Hello, Fong. Rodrigo. <laughs> okay, so we also get Magical Dances Volume 2 so that we can actually finish. Um, you can actually fully get the skills for Songstress with that. That's one of the things you need for that. So, who taught you to speak all bad? Who do you think, Riku? I wonder. Gibble? I guess you got me interested. Oh, I knew it! <sighs> that guy's always been a player! <sighs> it's not like that. Riku, are you jealous? You see, it occurred to me that learning another language might help me broaden my horizons. Did it work? Words weren't enough, but I did come to a realization. In order to expand your horizons, you have to open yourself up. Get involved with the outside world, let it shape and affect you. That's the only way to change. Um, I don't get it. Yes, you do, Riku. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that running around with you two has help me you experienced that two years ago you understand what did we do well for one thing you got me to talk I well I finally feel I can talk about things <laughs> oh, that's good we thought we were bothering you oh you did at first you never shut up I was ready to lay down some serious hurt what? Just at first. Yoni. Hey. Riku, let's go. <laughs> Must everything be so dramatic? Yes. Hey, wait up. It has to be so dramatic. All right, episode complete. So that's episode complete for Jose. Um, we've been going for about one hour. So that's about how long it took me, so doing it with this method. All right, so we are next gonna go save, and we should be at 91.4% now, so we're gonna check on that. I had to remember where my saves were. Okay, there we go. All right, check it. 91.4%, okay, perfect. Okay, so that's where we are on that one. So now we are gonna go back to Calm Lands and check on our chocobos and see if we got Mounted Assault Garment Grid. Hopefully we can be super lucky again, but I kind of don't think so. <laughs> I
I don't think it's going to happen, but let's see. Hey, Clasco! Oh, we didn't fight because we didn't really fight any battles. Okay. Um. Okay, well, we'll come back and check on that later. We only really fought one battle. So I guess it wouldn't, they wouldn't come back yet. All right, so you can see we've got two hotspots left only. We've only got Beaconel and Bevel. So there is more to do in Beaconel, so let's go back there. First, want to show you guys what happens when you, if you try to go to the northern expanse so that you can kind of see that. Um, but uh, let me switch. Do I want to... No, we're going to keep this because I definitely want that for another fight. Okay. I want to show you all what happens when you go to Northern Expanse. It's a little bit different than just digging. There's monsters here. This could get a little rough. They attack you <laughs> so be careful going to northern expanse um because the zoo will come and try to destroy you but we're gonna kill it it's okay yeah they're totally be monsters when it goes to totally so you have to be a little careful if um you want to go and do dig in northern expanse i think that because of this you can actually get better treasure here but i don't really know because i've never had a need to like do further digging other than what we just did and I, I like to, to use central expanse because it's so special. much faster doing it with the chocobo digging so I don't really know but that's what I, I think is the case is that you get better prizes in northern expanse because you have to kind of get past that that zoo to dig here and see now you can dig and it's it's a unit dig so like things can come attack you still just like they would on any of the other ones where it's unit that runs around and you see, like, she's so much slower than a chocobo. Oh, an ambush, of course. Because that can happen. Yeah, there's these stronger monsters. Pickett got, just got bonked, yeah. Pickett loves to get bonked, it's his favorite. That's why he's so ornery all the time. Thank you so much for the Lurk Koneko. It's we okay. love our lurkers here. Luckily, the timer doesn't run down when you're fighting. Oh, another primer. Nice. Oh, and a chocobo. We don't need that. Special Riku, you're helping your friends. I don't see a yellow one. You can oh there it is. Um so you can see because of having to do the battles and um and Yuna's speed. That doing any of the ones that are not the chocobo one for farming up it's just harder and it takes way longer and i think the northern one has the hardest enemies but the other ones are similar the enemies are just easier but it's the same kind of idea where you're constantly getting interrupted by battles
at least we got a primer out of it. Okay, so that's what happens in the Northern Expanse. Let's save one more time because it is now time to actually finish Beacon Elf by heading back to Cactuar Nation. Yes, men of means aren't always men, are they? That's dear? the gist of it. It's true. Is this Marnwa or is this the next one? Okay, I'll translate. I hate to admit it, but my Freyla can be a bit of a handful. He's a really very nice boy who just wants to be around friends, but he always seems to be falling in with the wrong crowd. I'm worried he may not even be traveling at That's all. That's the gist of it. Okay, so what that means is that this one is actually in that cave that we haven't gone into yet. So let's go talk to this cactus right here. That is the lair of the rogue cactuars, becoming a fine cactus protecting the desert. Those who forsake the duty flee there. Naturally, the entrance is sealed. Be careful not to get That's too close. That's the gist of it. But I do think we're supposed to go in there. Oh. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to go this way. Where is Freyella? I know she's he, he's around here somewhere. That name sounds like a lady name, so I keep wanting to call Freyella she, but Freyella is he. What happens if we talk to Marla here? Last gatekeeper should be somewhere nearby. Please, you must locate Yumi, him. Let's go find him. We'll look for him. Oh, you have to talk to Marnola, that's what you have to do. Marnola says the other gatekeepers will help. Will help. Now, go, hurry. Fish on time. All right, our objective is to find the gatekeeper. Nice place. It says this is where the rogue cactuars hang out. I guess the gatekeeper fell in with the wrong crowd. They're all holed up somewhere inside. Oh, here we go again. That's right. Let's teach them some social skills. Come on. All right, so now we have a little mini dungeon we have to run through. Um, so we're gonna first save. What accessories have I got equipped right now? Just check. Okay, ribbon and diamond gloves, AP egg and speed racer. Um, give you diamond gloves and speed racer, crystal gloves and Kaiser no. Give you. Yeah, I did have another speed. No, let's give Riku the other. No, Riku has it. We'll give Pain the other speed racer. All right, let's get through this dungeon. We're gonna use the dream team for it. Benzo, let's go. 
through the twisty turny. Yeah, one darkness pretty much destroys everything. Oh yeah, they're gonna show the gimmick of this dungeon. Or one of the gimmicks of this dungeon. They can shoot the monsters with needles oh. until they grow. And now they're gigantic. Don't worry, he'll die just as easy. I guess there's no choice. Not in one hit, but he will go down. Oops, forgot to mention I had this. Boom. Stop defense upping. That's not cool. Constantly use defense up until they take forever to kill. <sighs> Alright, there's a chest right across here, so we can hop to it. And it is an ether. Okay, this is the other little gimmick area. It's gonna explain to you the gimmick. You can probably tell, sand will slowly fill. Watch it rise. Those sneaky cactoids have set a trap. Hurry through the tunnel before it fills with sand. All right, you can see that you can like climb up and there are chests, you know, that you can grab while you run through here. Um, it's not worth it to stress about grabbing those chests though. Like most of them, are like ethers and elixirs and stuff that's just like, it's just not that important. So I don't recommend worrying about it. I recommend just running through. It is possible to grab all of the chests um, and still make it, but it's just, it's just annoying to do that. So yeah, there's no point. None of those chests are anything that you actually be concerned about. that last one was a phoenix down like it's stuff like that that's just like not that big of a deal gigantic Suffering mirrors yours.
giant one of these bitches. Here comes my trump card! My Twitch status says I've only been live for 19 minutes. Am I not live anymore? And OBS just isn't telling me? Let me just check this real quick. <clears throat> Make sure. Okay, yes, I am live. It's just OBS giving me wrong stats. I'm a little paranoid because it wasn't that, it was like maybe last week. The stream apparently actually cut out in the middle and then like it auto relaunched, but like OBS did not tell me that was happening. So I was a little bit like thinking, did that happen? Did, it, did the stream end and like automatically to try to reconnect and OBS just didn't tell me? No, it's just stuck. It's that little status. Make clean, do my blade. I just realized that it, that Riku, that um, Pain and Yuna, being Dark Knights, have like so special. much already that they're immune to. But the ribbon should definitely be on Riku, and I'm I'm feeling like I put it on Yuna. Go check. Did okay. So she should have diamond gloves and let's see. She should have diamond gloves and crystal bangle. She should have speed bracer and ribbon. She should have, yeah, speed bracer and crystal gloves. That's much better. Yella gang. All right, everything's coming at Cactuars. For this Cactuar, you actually want to beat it. And if you don't beat it, you can rematch later. We're going to try to beat it now. And if we don't get it, we'll do the rematch. But the reason why is because you get a garment grid. You really don't get prizes like that's worth it for beating the others. But for this one, you get a garment grid. So you actually want to beat it. You don't have to beat any of the others. You only need to beat Rayella. So we're going to try. Now it's hard because they're all cactuars, but you know if it's Freyella if it's got the light on the left side. So I'll show you. So you want to look at the background. We did it! So basically, you shoot on Freyella, you immediately dodge. Freyella will dodge less than the other Cactuars, I think because of this prize, so all you have to do is just do that every time. 
um, with the pattern and you're gonna win. Covenant of Growth Garment Grid. And again, you can rematch afterwards if you do not get it on this first try. So don't feel like you have to, you don't. All right, let's take him back to Cactuar Nation. No more running away from home. Yeah. Hey, Staga. Hey, Staga's not going to save you from darkness. Oops, forgot to mention I had this. Now, I know we have not been using our Gillionaire to get money this had better during be the stream it. so far. That's because I was thinking, like, just having Yuna do Gillionaire oh, excuse me, was not getting us money fast enough. So we are actually going to do a totally different money farming strategy. This so I just wanted to acknowledge that. That's why I've kept them on the Dream Team for the bosses instead. Here comes my trump card! There we go. Okay, I have to pee, so while this scene plays, I'm gonna go do that, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to push the button for mission complete first. Okay, so, okay, the scene isn't yet. Um, anyways, we can just run back, right? Enzo, we have to hurry back to Marnala, okay. So we're back towards the beginning of the dungeon, we can just run back this little path. Meows. You got some meow meow? You wanna come up here? If I can pet you? My hey, baby. Mirror is yours. Over here. No pain, no gain. Gosh, you're shedding so much, lady. I'm gonna have to wash these. I'm gonna have to wash my paws after. Look at that. All that fur. <laughs> oh, I wanted to show you what the garment grid does so you can know if it's worth getting. There it is. Covenant of Growth. Double AP and double XP. All right, for going through the gates. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, let's save before the next step. Towards are summoning the great Haboob.
Cactuar Nation will be safe from fiends now. But Marnala, she... Marnala? She used all her power to stop them. Aww. No! Marla has no power now. Now a fiend's attacking the camp! Uh-oh. Mission time! Okay, this is one of the hardest um, bosses that's kind of like considered a required boss for beating the game fully. Um, because you have to feed him to get the, uh, to get the mascot to clear the, the hot spot. So, if you want to return to the airship to gear up, if you are not super over-leveled like I am, you probably want to do this, oh, but I already have the stuff equipped that I want to have equipped. Um, I'm super over-leveled, so we are not going to do that. We are just going to jump into this fight. Winarana, van a hu siedler von drek fiend. She says they're no match. <laughs> We've got company. Don't worry, Nadala. We're a match. So here we go. This is, um, what is he called? Angry Mind You. And this is all you do. You just have both two, your two Dark Knights just do darkness over and over. And then you have your Alchemist do Mega Potion over and over. It's gonna take a while, but it's gonna go down, okay? It's gonna go down. Hopefully nobody gets dead so we can just like keep going with this um, without having to revive anybody, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. It can do a lot of damage, so people, they might die. The queen just died. Okay, we'll have to revive her. But that's okay, because we have Riku, and um, she can get a phoenix down really fast. And uh, she can also, whenever she does a phoenix down, it does way more, like, health. Like that. See, she's, like, she's already back up to 2,000, so, like, that's really good. And you'll constantly be killing the two little guys in front of um, the the boss, um, and the boss will keep reviving them. But it's okay because you're using you're just using darkness over and over, um, so it's doing like an AOE. So like it's all good. It's all good. My suffering mirrors yours. Yeah, basically this is what you this do. Had better be worth it. Oh no, pain died while I was looking away. Okay. So we need to Phoenix down pain. I guess I should have put a crystal bangle on pain, like holy crap. Or an HP something, whatever the next HP one My suffering HP accessory yours. was instead of a defense accessory. And this thing has so much HP. It has so much HP, it's ridiculous. Oops, forgot to mention I had this. It's okay, even though there's better accessory I could have put on pain. Um, we'll still win. No problem. No problemo. 
It's gonna be easy peasy. But because they they have so much, this fight has so much HP, the boss has so much HP, and it can take a while, and it can be kind of an endurance test, um, it, it, it caused me a lot of trouble the first time I attempted it, so it, it is really good for me. We're gonna make it look easy here, but it is difficult. Oops, forgot to mention I had this! I should have put the HP thing on Keen instead of the um, increased defense. Oh well. Oh, maybe not, because Yuna went down. Jeez, and she had the most HP. The deal is, even though the Stash Mega Potion takes forever to cast, because the healing is so good and the Dark Knights um, have so many resistances and do so much damage, it's still like worth it to do it this way, even though it makes it kind of slow. the more that you kill no these little guys, the more that the guys in front of her, the more she'll like waste turns reviving them. Oh, my stats like randomly refresh. Now it's like saying the right amount of time within life. So weird. So it just wasn't refreshing. No issues. Waste and turns on those full lights. I like that. Instead of doing my that for addition. My blade. Dang. I think hurts. That's what kills them sometimes. talking earlier about like um the youtube genre of like toy restoration and um and i just remembered one i watched the other day with like a unicorn poly pocket restoration that was really good some of those videos i'm not as into no but pain, the ones no that pain. actually like sculpt so have to like re-sculpt some of the um little pieces i am very much into or ones that like make custom on their own like i watched some person Make, it was like a custom Polly Pocket, but it wasn't Polly Pocket. Okay, no it was, um, it was uh, Breath of the Wild. It was like Link and like the trees and stuff. Um, for and it was a, uh, it was before Tears of the Kingdom came out, so it's based on the Tears of the Kingdom trailer. Um, but some of those are like really cool, like custom little little toys that are more like art pieces than um, than considered actual toys. Those are really fucking cool. So like those videos, YouTube algorithm, you can recommend those to me because I would like to watch them, especially ones that have the custom sculpt. If it's just restoration and cleaning, it's not as fun, um, but the custom sculpting, sculpting, that's very fun. My blade. I wonder how much HP this thing has anyway.
There's enough pain to go around. Well, apparently this Angra Mainyu is a enemy name in a lot of games. I guess it must be a mythology uh, figure. Okay, yeah, it has um 333,444 total HP, and we're doing like a little over 3k each time. So we hit it many, many times with our darkness. So 333 divided by like three, whatever, whatever that is. That's how many darknesses we gotta hit it with. It's probably like 30 or something like that. It's probably like 30. No, not Perdition's Flame. I don't want that one. Ooh, any other ability but that? Oh, I got shit. Shit. It got Riku and Yuna that time. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. Come on, Pain. Mega Phoenix. Shitty Mega Phoenix. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Use an actual Mega Potion so it can go fast. Okay. We're back in business. Okay, so they So... Pain and Yuna are silenced in darkness right, right now, but it doesn't matter because they're the skill that they're using over and over darkness, it doesn't matter that they have those status effects, so we are not going to waste turns um, healing them from that. Here comes my trump card! No reason to remedy them. We're just going to keep the same strategy with the mega potions in the darkness. Oh, I'm using my real ones instead of the stash, aren't I? Am I? Hang on, was I going into my actual items? Or am I going into the stash still? No, she's taking so long. Okay, it's stash, it's stash. I just saw for a second and I thought, like, yeah, no, it's stash. Okay. We're good, we're not wasting our actual mega potion. It's all good, it's all good. Once he does that, and once she starts doing Demi, like, she's getting, like, to lower health. Here comes my trump card! At least Pain's getting to learn all of the uh, Dark Knight abilities. Yes. Don't you Kiraga yourself? Excuse you. Excuse you. That's not cool. Uh, what's this? Oh. I got scared, but that didn't really do much. <laughs> Just took away MP, which we don't need. You can take all the MP, lady.
forgot to mention I had this. <clears throat> You can't win. You can't win. I got this. Mission's flame again. Get ready to revive whoever it kills. Here comes my trump card! Oh. Alright, back in business. May pain be my blade. Okay. I feel like I feel like she was healing a little too slow there for a second, so I'm gonna use a real mega potion. Okay, we can go back to the stash. Healing yourself. Only I can do that. to save this for something special. Oh, Gotta be dead soon. Can't be that much longer. Did die before she cast another Perdition's Fire. Feels like it's gonna be any turn now.
right? It's okay. I don't need my MP. <gasps> there we go. Got him. Let's go. <laughs> did it, did it, did it. You're a real lifesaver. I guess you can always count on the gull wings. That's right. You can always count on the gull wings. Thanks, but what a disaster. I guess. It's all relative. This is nothing compared to what happened to home. Oh, that's Besides, true. what's done is done. That's so sad. They've gotten used to like losing their property. You're pretty tough. I smell something good. Hey, you're right. You saw your Godwin tell me that. Food? Yeah, we whipped it up during the battle. As long as we're still kicking, we're gonna get hungry. Hunger's proof we're alive. That's true. We've got heaps of food. I don't suppose you're interested. Not alone, we are definitely interested. <laughs> Go wings at your service. Episode complete. Time to eat. Okay, we got another ribbon from that, so that's good. So we have two ribbons now. And Mercurial Strike Garment Grid. And now we've got all the episodes com episode completes except for the final Bavel one, which is not required. So we've gotten all the needed ones. And we're gonna get the A best prize. Special prompts. bonus for the goal wins. Oh, they look great on you. Thanks, brother. I. Uh... Want one too. are you lying? Landed work. <laughs> I don't trust Shinra's assessment. Gosh, thanks. Well. What the hell is this? Hey, why not, right? <laughs> we got the mascot dress here. Okay, there is one additional little scene down in Beaconel that we need to finish things off. So we're gonna go back to the Cactuar Nation really quick, and we're gonna talk to Denzo. Because we need a little update. We need a little update on what's going on with the Cactuars now that we have saved the day. You sure do love a good dig, don't you? No, I'm going to the Cactuar Nation. I guess Marnala is gone. No, look! She's right here! <gasps> baby Marnala! Marnala, baby! She may be baby small oh, now. Give her some time and she'll grow. Then we'll have, have a new one. Aww. Marnala's gone, but she'll grow bigger and become a new Marnala? Oh, you didn't know? Marnala is the Kakar word for grandma. Oh, so that wasn't even her name. I say so. Well, then, we look forward to meeting her again someday. Rock tight. All right, this is where you can rematch Freyella if you didn't um, beat it. So it's like, I think this one is Freyella. Yeah, right here. So, um, we're, we don't need to, but you can rematch her, or him, if you did not, uh, get that garment grid before. You can actually rematch all of them, but there's just, there's no real reason to do that except for Freyella.
All right, so after doing all of that, we should be at 92.4%. So let's save and let's check our percentage. Yep, 92.4, okay, fantastic. Now let's go check on our choke bows and see if we've got that mounted assault guard mounted. Hey, Clasco. Okay, back. And it's back. Okay. Let's see what their hearts are at. So their hearts are all at 25 now. So my understanding is their hearts need to be 30 or lower. So we are not going to raise their hearts at all. We are just going to dispatch. And then we'll increase their hearts next time. to be focused on getting money. We have um, 561,000 gil and we need 2 million, remember? So we are gonna set up, we're gonna set up the higher power garment grid. So let's go down here. And where are you, higher power? Did I pass it? No, there it is, okay. We're gonna set up the higher power garment grid because we're gonna need that for the break HP limit later. Um, but we're gonna put a few things on it. So we're gonna put warrior in the middle here. Um, <clears throat> then we're gonna put, uh, where is it? Mascot on top. And then we need Dark Knight. And then we need Berserker. Oh, actually, I want, let's put Lady Luck here. And Berserker down here. Dark Knight over here. Okay. And then we're gonna equip that to everybody. Okay, we're gonna equip higher power. Um, <clears throat> and we want everyone on Lady Luck. Oh, not Warrior. Instead of ribbon, you need the AP egg. Because, yeah, yeah. Speed racer AP. So yeah, Yuna, you can do item reels, that's fine. Riku and Pain need to get up to the gillionaire, so we need to get double XP for them. So that's all set up. We're gonna go sell our junk. See how much money we have after selling all of our junk. It's not gonna be enough, but we're gonna see how much that gets us. Accessories to sell? Yes.
I'm selling everything that I have more than three of. Because there's just no reason to have more than three of these things. I think I did this once before already on stream, but we're doing it again. Okay. And items... Let's see. What do we have that we don't really need? Oh my god, so much. There's so much junk, holy crap. Okay. Um, let's start at the bottom here. Don't really need the mana tablets. Don't need stamina tablets. We want that. We want that. We have soul springs. We only have one soul spring, so we can keep the mana and stamina springs. Okay. Don't need star curtains. Don't need light curtains. Don't need lunar curtains. Uh, chocobo wings. Let's sell the chocobo feathers. Um, inflicts, sometimes inflicts death. We can keep that. Cast no, we don't really need that. Definitely don't need poison fangs. Don't need that. Just not gonna use so much of this stuff. Get rid of, like, all of this elemental crap. We won 2-0 against our biggest rivals tonight. Oh my gosh, hello Eminem and congratulations. Holy shit, 2-0 against your biggest rivals? Nice, 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 good job. Yeah, we don't need these bombs anymore because we did that um, already. Remedies are good, holy waters are good. How many remedies do we have? We have 99 remedies, which cures basically everything. Oh, so we don't need, like, all of this crap. Keep our remedies in holy waters. We don't... I don't think we... We have 26... We don't need ethers. We do want those. We do want those. Yes. We don't need regular potions. Okay, so now we're up to 600,000, so that really didn't get us that much, but it got us a little closer to the two mil that we need. Okay. Excuse me, Chocobo. to go there. I'm going to go to the bridge. The heck. All right. All right. So now that we are all prepped and ready, we are going to go ahead and um, pause, stop the recording here. I'm going to go take my stretch break. So if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And why don't you come hang out with us on Twitch? Come follow my Twitch so that you can um, hang out in the lives as well. All right, you guys. Of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.